Hey girls, we are going to be picking everyone's favorite war crime denier, Turkey. For as much as I would like to be playing Turkey. No, never again. I've played enough Turkey in my life. The focus tree is just so horrendously bad. First things first, we are of course going to be setting up the basic research, which it's so OP that Japan has four research slots. Seriously. We will play the strongest Japan that we can, or I'll try to, because by blood alone is just a bad patch and they fixed a bunch of things that were possible before and I'm definitely not salted. They try to be more realistic, but oh my god, this is hot of iron. They cannot be realistic. The game is too bad for that. This one is shot. Boop, boop, boop. Darting strong with justification on these guys. The Dutch East Indies. We want Milexis. Thank you, Mussolini. I also don't need all of this crap. I mean, it's a navy in Hearts of Iron 4 single player. Like, <laughs> we're gonna go with this purse because we will get a bunch of stuff. You can't start naval invasions if you're not. Yeah. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, duh. good to know. Give me all of those flying boats. I am not going to like this. Also in the do -do 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 repair thing, I'm gonna send everything in there. Automatic split off, of course. Hello, it's me, Mr. Post Commentary. So to explain what's happening right now, we are splitting the navies up into small little task forces that you can send everywhere because we will need to invade the Netherlands from Japan's mainland. For this, the composition itself is not important. What's important is the range, since a task force will only have the range of the slowest boat. If you want to do this yourself and this is all going too fast, you can always just check out the board on my side channel. And then this is gonna be such an awful invasion if that's possible. <gasps> that should not be possible. That's not a naval invasion at this point. And also important, the marine isn't there. That is a Beautiful small invasion and boom declare war. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You move here and now you are close enough. <laughs> oh my god, they are starting! <laughs> that is. N I hate this game, man. Are they losing? They're not even losing org. And get the spiritual mobilization. I do feel a bit bad for the Dutch. They have no idea why I'm doing this, and they certainly do not expect this. <laughs> but I can start just a round of looking. Can anybody check how long this took? I didn't. I didn't check when I declared the war. 18th of November. So okay, took them about three months. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna press the cheat button. Oh God, I. Try and defend. Just don't die. That's all you need to do. Not die. There's only one division in combat right now. Okay, let's attack again. Oh. No! Yes! I can get the other troops in here, but. They are all horses right now, so they will just eat my supply. Uh, actually, they should be able to push here. And you guys should be able to push this one. Let's get some people over there. Nope, that's the wrong one. Come on, ready. auto repeat and quiet until. Do I need anything right now? Tanks, don't care. Sure, let's make more guns. We will need them. And I guess we can also take the one down there. Oh! Oh! That was quick. Let's see. Oh, I can take everything. Nice. Definitely won't complain about that. And then let's set up an invasion from here to Florida. Okay, and now what we need to do is get every little stupid ship here. I uh, don't care. 
I will get a few more of these in here though. And then... <laughs> Actually, I think at this point nothing really matters anymore. Sure, the Marco Polo bridge incident is nice, I guess. And the research slot... Yeah, I guess let's take the research slot. No, nope. I'm not gonna take the research slot. I'm gonna take another thing. Supremacy of will, 10%. Division recovery, 10%. Attack, 10% defense. That is very strong. Deck on these guys. We do have... Ooh, we do have stuff. We can use our ships. I'll just build it for good measure. Okay. No. But Miami has fallen. I can already tell you that much. And with Miami fallen, we can send everyone in. And then I'll send these guys in. Zero collaboration governments. Actually, no. Oh, 45%. I thought that one was a failure. Okay, wait. It is a failure, but... Wait, what? So they failed, but I still got 45% collaboration. Oh, oh, honestly. I'm gonna make this easy on me. And just dump everything on guns. Oh. This marks in? Yeah, sure. If you want to, you can do this, but just keep in mind that your sweet home is being ravaged right now. Perfect. Infantry expert. How? <laughs> you only have horses. <sighs> yeah, it's it's games like this that are just so calming. It's so nice to just dig on the AI. Just straight up took everything myself. 1938, I have 200 factories and it's only gonna get more. <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> just, just, ah. I mean, I am on limited exports, so... Could switch to export focus. You know what, let's go. Let's do that. At this point, the focus tree is over. What we can do is chill a little bit until World War II kicks off and then invade the Allies. Let's invade China. Or I just straight up deck the British. I think we are going to try just that. Then we can build roads everywhere because it doesn't matter anymore. The only thing we need now are resources. Through the channel we have 500 ships so... Oh no, Cuba has embargoed us. Whatever will we do? Let's get the port for some helpful... There we go! I love landing in a hole. Just two swift strikes and you have split the British Isles in half. Ah, that's, that's the most fun part about Hoi 4. Just watching it auto, leaning back and enjoying the chaos that you just created. And, oh no, they are resisting, interesting. And small tip, if you're playing Japan, you can always go for the mobilize the troops and prepare to go to war. It doesn't matter. Like you just, you get war goals, but you don't ever have to use them. And there's no downsides. And I think at some point Paradox will also fix that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you just... <laughs> The AI sometimes just makes it... No, no, that's what I was afraid of. That the Germans would steal all of my hard-earned land by grinding up on the... Let one of those stay in... Okay, we do have the major... Um, what? The country is missing in that list. Since Czechoslovakia joined France, France is in the Allies. What? That doesn't make any sense. They shouldn't have capitulated. Okay, so in this war, there's Draj. It's got turned into major. And the UK is still... What? Oh, okay. So France never joined against Germany. That's why this was so scuffed. Oh, look at this beautiful monster that I just created. And at this point, you have won the game. Seriously, there's nothing that can stop you. You can just uh, justify on the Germans and then easily steamroll them. Can justify on the Soviets, easily steamroll them. China is nothing anyway and 
after that, you just need to clean up for world conquest. No, no, 200 manpower, whatever will I do? <laughs> I produced the wrong ones. <laughs> I produced the tank brigades. <laughs> oh my god. That does explain a few things. I have one in that regard, so. My poor thin boy Frodo is dying. Reliability doesn't affect support tanks. <coughs> at least at the time of this uh, video. Give them flame support companies. The Soviets can't really help communist China. Oh, actually, one thing I found out the other day. Supply hubs are insane for annexing because they are so hard to produce. So that's the one upside. I might not have enough troops because the Germans are not preoccupied with anything. You know what, I'm just gonna let them die on the Western Front a little bit. Let's drop all of these guys as well. Then we have two beautiful armies. Two beautiful army groups, there you go. This is a bit weird in the current patch. When you annex a nation, a puppet, and you're building in them, your entire production queue just freezes. Okay, um, that is a bit of a problem. And uh, looks like, oh yeah, we just got a counter encirclement. Interesting. That's a shame. I'm so sorry. I have an amazing idea. And the idea is the following. We will declare on China. We are in the Confederate European Nations faction. What? Just go. First day, you were wounded. That's what I like to see. I can join the common turn. Oh my god, this is so cursed. I could call them in against Germany. <laughs> but I don't want to. Ooh, ooh. Some of these troops do not have a lot of supply. I mean, all of this is just combat loss because these are still full strength. But still, let them get eaten by the Soviets. Perfect. Same with Shibisama. Shibisama. Joint the axis. That's not what I wanted. Some of these troops are at half strength. There we go, they have supply again. Let's go. They can attack. Wait. I know why they're not pushing anymore. <laughs> they lost their front line. By the way, has any person ever clicked this button? Uh, that's probably just there for the AI, right? I'm gonna let the communists take this one. This way I can deck on Guangxi. Oh, right. They are very cheap for Kami China. Five million Germans. Okay. Shouldn't they get the Civil War now? They joined the Axis. And I just remembered I'm not gonna be able to take all of Italy because of this stupid Civil War. And yeah, that's, that's a costly offensive. But hey. You're doing this for the motherland? Is Japan a motherland? I know Germany is the fatherland and Russia is the motherland, but what sort of pronouns does Japan have? I, I think Japan is female. Oops. As I opened up the console just now, that must mean I am cheating. But if you care about that, there is the entire two hour award somewhere on my VJ Minus channel. Seven million Germans. And for what? For a madman's dream. Sure, it was me who declared the war, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. I'm fighting Hitler, I'm the good guy. And it looks like Luigi Ferrari stopped his useless attack on the Alps. But I think it's too late. It is too late at this point. For I just walked around you. There's weren't a lot of Italians here, but hey, that's enough to make this front a cakewalk now. Wait, what happened to Italy? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? I just looked away for a few minutes. Attacking Italy is so fun. The only annoying thing is these two bits. You will lose your front line here. But apart from that, taking Italy is just one of the most fun things, honestly. Kitty cam! I mean, you can't really see him because it's, because it's dark. But hey, kitty cam. I know you want it. Yep, there we go. I mean, <laughs> I provoked it, but hey. Hey ho. He would have done it regardless. Oh my god, they fixed that! You can now take. You can finally take the puppet government. That's so nice. Oi! That's what I was talking about. I didn't provoke anything here. 
He just attacked me regardless. Hey! Melee. Okay, goodbye. Not gonna use any call of governments. Just a raw, beautiful war. No! Who? Who did I just release? Indonesia! No! God damn it. This game is stupid and wrecking. Yep, that's the annoying part. I lost all of the collaboration now. Oh, the compliance, I mean. Oh my god. That's a few Chinese divisions here. Where are the Chinese casualties at? 1.3. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Yeah, okay. Around 300k. Don't think I can give them land, do I? No! They don't, they don't have Crimea. 1945. Could have been a lot quicker if I did use collaboration governments. But I didn't want to. The only thing that's left is South America. Spain. Middle East. Middle America. Oh my god, I am so exhausted. <laughs> the Soviets took more out of me than I expected. But hey. Goodbye.